Alrighty then, everybody, Flash Notion here, back for another reaction to Soul Eater. And we left off in the middle of the fight. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Stein versus Medusa, and she's trying to seduce him. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I make that joke? <laughs> uh, I just hurt myself with that. Like, physically feel pain from that. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, we also have, uh, the big one, Maka versus Krona, and, uh, Maka gave into the black blood, so now she's, uh, a little bit crazy, and she's beating the shit out of Krona, and it's fun. Uh, Kid and Blackstar are going to be going up against Free at some point, but I don't know if we're, when we're gonna see that, so that, that's a thing. Uh, I mean, there's also the Frog Witch, but, like, she's not uh, that much of a threat, I don't think, so. And meanwhile, of course, Blair on the outside is uh, fighting off the, the Mouse Witches, and uh, I really want to see that, because it seems like that would be hilarious, but I I doubt we are. But, either way, lots of fun stuff happening. It finally feels like a proper Shonen series, so let's keep going. Starting in three, two, one. Okay. Good, 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 God. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I have not felt the warm and fuzzies like that in so long. Like, I'm... Yeah, I, I honestly can't remember when the last time I felt that was. Um, there have been episodes of shows that have done that to me before, but, like, not recently. I, I don't think any episode of Star Versus has done that. Um, not really. Uh... And, uh, definitely not of Soul Eater or One Punch Man before now. Um, my hero, I mean, okay, I do, actually, I do remember, because it, it, it wasn't my hero, it was, uh, oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? That's obnoxious. Like, I can see the wavelength on my fucking recording going up there. Jeez. Okay, uh, but it wasn't my hero. It was Airy smiling. That was the last time I felt this kind of warm and fuzzies. And um, I mean, that was good. That that was a very good good moment. I I almost cried with that. But like, somehow I still don't feel like it reached the same peak here because like, I genuinely didn't know if we would actually get through to Krona. Like, I figured the possibility was there. Like, but I did not know for sure one way or the other. And I'm very curious to see what way it goes now. Because, like, I have to imagine with Ragnarok the way he is, I, I, I feel like he's been abused just as much as Krona. He's just used to being the one who, you know, gets to take out his frustrations on the other person. Um, and now that that's not going to work for him anymore, he, uh... It's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see where that goes. Um, but yeah, just in general, that I love the way that they did that and the special outro. Like that was just a big moment right there, and I I give props for this show for that. Like, yeah, I think of all the characters, Krona was the one I was invested in the most because I I wanted to know what was gonna happen to them. I wanted to know if they were gonna become good guys, or if they were gonna die, like, <laughs> so, I, I'm glad that Krona, I'm glad that Krona was open still to change, um, and yeah, that, that was pretty much the entire first episode, um, and also, not gonna deny it, Maka beating the shit out of them, while being crazy was, 
still pretty entertaining. Um, and uh, the second episode there, I mean, Kid and Black Star, you know, they didn't get as much to do since they weren't actually fighting free yet. Um, but uh, that wasn't even the important part of the episode. The important part of the episode was the fucking madness bit of in the second half, because, like, holy fuck were those visuals just, like, incredibly disturbing. The fact that it, just getting close to it almost drives you to kill yourself, like, holy fuck. Like, I don't even know what stopped them from killing themselves, like, that was just... I guess, I guess it was the part about, like, I'm immortal, I can't die! Like, that that, that part, but, like... Good, good God, and yeah, just the visuals of it were insane, and the atmosphere as they were entering was really good. Because I, like, like you might have heard, I, I was trying to just focus on like, yay, happiness, Krona's reformed, and or yeah, reformed, and uh, gonna be friendly now. Like, it's so cute. Like, I, I was trying to focus on that, and then like they kept upping the atmosphere, and I was just like, nope. Nope, not gonna work. Ooh, I I mean, now that I think about it, in terms of watching these two episodes together, they kind of set it up perfectly for height. Like, they build up in the first one the, to the heightened emotion of just like, yay, Krona's a good guy, and he's so and like it's so adorable, all that sort of stuff, like. They built that up so well, so you're on that high, and then you immediately watch this scene of just, like, utter terror, and it's, like, good... The the, the switch is so easy because you're on that height and the motion bit already. So, like... I, I doubt they intended it that way, because this was back before shows were intended to be binged, but, like... Good God, does it work. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that might be my favorite pair of episodes yet. <laughs> uh, wow. Just wow. I don't, I don't even know if there's anything more I need to say, because, like, yeah, that pretty much covers it. I mean, we have, uh, the Stein and Medusa stuff. That, that's just taking forever to get anywhere. Um, but, like. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to end. It looks like next time we're going to get a flashback to Young Stein and Spirit, which, I mean, we all know how that ended up, but, like, it'll still be interesting. Um, as far as Medusa being defeated, uh, I mean, I hope. Might be nice. Have her, like, Hannibal lectored up for the next arc after this. She's in prison and they have to go talk to her, get her help. That might be pretty cool. Oh, we did get to see Blair and the m- mice fight again. Um and that was pretty weird. Uh like the first part of it was cool. The second part where they turned into a gestalt woman who is, you know, quite attractive. Um but that part was very weird and I don't know what to make of it. Are there five sisters who just somehow combine their like they, they fused into one, or is there, like, was there always just one sister who split herself into five parts that resembled her little sister, um, and has now, like, brought herself back together? I don't know. And then they just went and made it really weird where, where the, the, the cat and the girl who is like a mouse started comparing boobs, and it's just like, what? Why? <laughs> like... I mean, I don't disagree. It's the, they're they're both very attractive, and like that's that's kind of hot. But like, that's not what I signed up to watch. Really, I guess it is what I signed up to watch. But like, I didn't want to watch it in this context, particularly. Um, what I mean to say is that in a different context, I would be happy to watch that, but not not here on the channel, like this. Ugh. So yeah, that was like the weirdest part of the episodes, honestly, but, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I am a little bit disappointed that I didn't pick up on the, on Free's illusion 
earlier because like I mean I thought it was weird that they were just showing the bullets as just passing through him but like I was just like okay maybe that's just how his immor- his immortality thing works with bullets like they're going so fast he heals so fast they're they're just not bothering to animate a whole bunch of blood gushing and whatnot but no no it was an actual illusion um so yeah I mean that illusion is probably going to give me my thumbnail but <sighs> regardless um not I don't have too much. Hmm. I mean, I could talk more about Cronon, how they were abused by Medusa, and you know how much of a soft spot I have for kids who've been abused. But like, I think most long-term viewers of the channel already know that, and like, I don't think I really need to sell any short-term viewers on that either, because like, yeah, abused kids deserve second chances, like. That's that that just goes without really saying. If you have to be told that, I I don't I don't know what to make of you. You're just probably not a person I want to hang around with. <laughs> um Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh Yeah, good set. Um So feels like I'm cutting it short and I guess I kind of am, but I do have stuff to do and like uh yeah, there's not too much more I can say. It's action heavy time, so action typically lends itself less to talking. Um Yeah, so that's gonna be it for this time. I look forward to next time, and I'll see you guys there. Alright? Alright. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.